Innovation is the cornerstone of success in America. In order to compete in the global marketplace, businesses and individuals are continuously striving to stay ahead of the game. I'm Terry Bradshaw. You know, from emerging technologies and financial strategies to the latest healthcare developments, you would be surprised by the many factors coming into play. Welcome to Today in America. The United States Air Force is like America's guardian angel, but training these brave men and women for battle is a costly endeavor. That's why now more than ever, the United States Air Force is training air crew for the real world with virtual simulation. Emulation and simulation instructs and prepares the warfighter prior to their insertion into the battle space. So we're accelerating the learning curve. And these types of preparation events save lives, not only military lives, but civilian lives as well. With the ability of simulation systems to interact, different types of aircraft systems can train together as if actually flying live missions. The realistic emulation is accomplished through mission training centers, or MTCs, co-located with each aircraft system. When performing distributed mission operations, the AWACS MTC is connected to other weapons system simulators via virtual connection. The fighter pilots are there conducting their own training, yet generating signals for the AWACS crew to see. At the same time, the MTC generates a simulated track, which is then displayed for the pilots to see. Operating a mission training center is a lot less expensive than operating an actual aircraft. An example would be a typical 10-hour mission might involve two or three hours of traveling to and from the airspace, only giving the mission crew four or five hours of training. Whereas in a mission training center, there is no transition time, and all the training time is dedicated to providing the crew what they need. For each MTC mission, crews go through all the stages of mission planning, pre-mission briefing, mission execution, and post-mission debriefing. Mission planning information is entered into the Advanced Simulation Combat Operations Trainer, or ASCOT, to create the battle space generated and displayed for the mission. Generally, the system will be programmed to replicate a training mission plan to be executed the next day. The actual mission execution takes place using the ASCOT system and radar consoles. Air weapons officers talk directly to pilots as they are able to see the same information as well as other information and context the fighters can't see. This training activity is accomplished without any fighter or AWACS aircraft ever leaving the ground. John Ledoux is president and CEO of Plexus Interface Products, Inc., the company behind these MTC modeling and simulation systems. This technology provides a capability to integrate to the tactical systems for the Marines and the Air Control Squadron and the Navy CIS. The real advantage of the ASCOT is modifications requested by one service are then shared amongst all the services. Plexus is an industry leader providing constructive entities for command and control systems worldwide and serving as the prime contractor for the Air Force AWACS Mission Training Centers program. System maintenance costs are kept low since upgrades are spread across the entire installed base. This permits Plexus to continually improve products and pass enhancements along to customers as part of regular maintenance. The company is currently a subcontractor to Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman. In addition to providing modeling and simulation for NATO, the UK, and France with future plans to expand into Central America, Asia, and other European countries. Well, modeling and simulation is still in its infancy. As the field grows and expands, the capabilities are going to be spread across both industry and government. And as this expansion continues, Plexus will be there for the future.